Essex, a helping hand with your land. Neil from Essex here today is Three Minute Thursday. Today we are going to do math. With the popularity of third function kits on the front of tractors, that extra hydraulic remote that's added to a loader that you can plug in an additional hydraulic function onto your front loader implement, we've gotten into a marketplace now where a lot of vendors are coming out with a lot of different things and there's a lot of interest in new types of implements to go on tractors that never really have been put there before. Think things like uh, rotary mowers, hydraulic post augers, things that are gonna run with hydraulic motors out on your loader, not just cylinders like those third functions were intended for. That gets a little bit complicated because again, we're in the skid steer marketplace now with these skid steer couplers that we've got in the front of the loaders, and there's a lot of attachments that you can potentially pin up and plug into your tractor that really may not belong out there. There's often a lot of misunderstanding from guys in the amount of power that those implements can have. And what we need to do is do a little bit of math on the amount of hydraulic flow and pressure that's coming out of that third function and have a proper expectation for what that amount of power is going to accomplish. So if you hop in and you look at the actual formula that's out there for converting pressure, PSI, and flow into horsepower, you simply go and multiply your PSI times your GPM, your gallons per minute of hydraulic flow, and divide by 1,714. I am certainly not smart enough to know why it's that number, but I am smart enough to tell you that the resulting number that comes out may actually surprise you. So if you go in and you look at most small tractors, um, generally you're gonna find somewhere around eight to 10 gallons per minute of hydraulic flow that can come out that third function. And that's gonna be usually a best case scenario, assuming not a whole lot of extra bends and lines and stuff that are gonna restrict that flow further. That number is gonna work out and tell you that you can put 12 horsepower out those third function lines. Now. With that 12 horsepower, what are we really going to accomplish? Well, you know, we could go pin a 60 inch hydraulic powered rotary cutter out there, but with 12 horsepower, we're not gonna do a whole lot of good with it. Now, that's not to say that there's not some applications for some of these that are out there. Um, we're starting to sell some of them now. We think they're really cool. There's some videos coming up on those in the future, but we need to keep in mind the amount of horsepower we're putting out there. Like if you're gonna go out and mow a field with grass that's three feet high, you're gonna be far better putting a rotary mower behind the tractor on the three point hitch where it's driven with the PTO where that shaft is transferring the engine's power that much more efficiently. So keep that in mind when we're talking small tractors. On bigger equipment, when we start to talk things like Kubota's SVL95, a 95 horsepower big heavy track loader with high horsepower hydraulics where we have things like high flow and hydraulics running at high PSI, the horsepower game starts to look a little bit different there. So in that machine, we have a 3500 PSI hydraulic system running at 40 gallons per minute and able to deliver 83 of that machine's 95 horsepower out in hydraulic horsepower, right? To run things like asphalt planers and um, Harley rakes and those demanding hydraulic implements. So keep that in mind when you're looking at putting implements on your machine and remember that shavs are always gonna run things more efficiently than what hydraulics do when it comes to delivering that engine's horsepower. So if you're in the market for a piece of equipment or if you have any parts or service needs we can help with, give us a call at Messix. We're available at 800-222-3373 or online at messix.com. Talky talky. Neil from Messix here with today's 3 Minute Thursday. For today, 